Okay, hello and welcome, and here we are in Adobe Photoshop CS2 once again, and today we're going to be looking at creating a star field effect. Now I've got two pictures up on the screen right now, and as you can see, the first one is a picture looking up at the Calgary Tower in Calgary, Canada, and you can see a nice blue sky in the background. This is going to be our starting point for creating our effect. Now if I close that image, you'll be able to see our finishing point. This is one I prepared earlier, so to say, and you can see it's the same picture, but with a spectacular star-filled galaxy of a sky in the background of the tower. And we're going to take a look at creating that effect with little more than a few filters and color adjustments. So if we revert back to the original image, uh, the first thing we need to do is to get rid of that sky um, so we can replace it with our own. And I'm going to do that with the Magic Wand tool today. I'm going to set a tolerance of 65 pixels and make my selection, and that's just about perfect. I'm going to zoom in and select the remain, remaining clouds, just making sure they're selected. And we can do that, of course, with the Add to Selection box highlighted. Now I need to make sure that the selection outline isn't completely solid so I'm going to go to select feather and just enter a value of one pixel. Um, press OK. Now I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard to lose the sky. So now we need to create the stars and we do that first of all by creating a new layer just click this icon here and we need to fill that layer with black so if we select our paint bucket tool and then make sure the foreground color is set to black by clicking the small icon here and then clicking inside our image now we need to make sure that our image is displayed at 100% on screen so we can see the details in the stars and then go up to filter noise and the add noise command now you'll need to set the noise value to 25 make sure the Gaussian option is selected and then make sure that the monochromatic option is ticked to combine our noise or stars I should say to grayscale pixels click OK now we need to go back to image adjustments brightness contrast and here we need to set the brightness value to minus 100 and the contrast level to say about 80. Click OK and we get a pretty nice star filled sky. Now we need to create the gaseous effect to go with the stars and we'll do that by creating another new layer which we'll call red and filling it with black just as we've done previously. Now this time we'll go to filter difference clouds and we want to apply that effect another couple of times and we can do that by hitting Control F on the keyboard twice and Control F is the shortcut to apply the last used filter so next we go up to image adjustments and auto levels now if you go to image adjustments and hue saturation this time we need to start coloring the gas so if you click the colorize checkbox down here in the corner and now set the hue to zero the saturation to 45 and the lightness to zero also click OK and now to see the effect alongside the stars we'll need to change the blending mode of the layer to screen Now basically we're going to create another three layers of gas in the same way as we've just created the last layer. So if we hit Control shift n on the keyboard to create a new layer, we'll call this one purple and press OK. Now if we hit Alt-Delete, which will fill our layer with the foreground colour, which should of course be black, and if it isn't then follow the steps we talked through previously to change it. Now the last filter we use should still be the render clouds filter so that means we can hit control F three times to apply that filter three times. Now we need to hit control shift L 
to do the, le the auto levels adjustment and then hit control U to bring up the hue saturation dialog box once again click colorize as we did before and this time we want a setting of 290 for hue 23 for saturation and minus 11 for lightness and press OK now change the blending mode to screen as we did before and now we start to get a combination of colors alongside our stars OK let's roll with the next layer Control shift n for a new layer we'll call it green press enter hit alt delete to fill the background with black once again hit control f three times for our difference clouds filter control shift l for auto levels and then control u to bring up the hue saturation we need to tick the colorize box set the hue this time to 112 the saturation to 44 and the lightness to minus 15 click OK and change the blending mode once again to screen and this time change the fill to about 40 percent cool now the last color hit control alt n and call the layer yellow hit control delete to fill with black control f three times to apply our filter control u click colorize and set the hue to 45 the saturation to 73 and the lightness to 0 press OK change the blend mode to screen and the fill to about 40% once again now I'm going to go back to the original layer here and drag it to um, the top of the layers palette finally with the active layer the tower layer selected I'm going to go to image adjustments and brightness contrast and I'm going to lower the brightness of the tower to minus 60 say and click OK and that's going to give us a shot that looks like it's been taken after nightfall and here we have our final image the Calgary Tower with a spectacular star filled galactic sky in the background now we can switch on or off some of them colors to give us different effects like switching off the yellow and green layers might suit the photograph better it's a matter of personal taste I guess the other thing you can do is to add a lens flare effect by going to filter render and lens flare and you can play around with the different settings that are available in that dialog box and I should just mention that in the prepared image I showed you earlier I had dragged the stars layer to below the background layer taken my erasure tool lowered the opacity to about 25 percent or thereabouts and just dabbed away at some of these stars at the bottom of the image to give it a more perspective feel I'd also above the green layer added an adjustment layer which was the gradient adjustment and I'd gone for a linear 90 degree gradient at a scale of 150 percent I just thought that would improve the reality of the image so now you have an understanding of how this effect is created and I'd urge you to play around with some of the settings to see what you can come up with sometimes a slight change can have a dramatic impact on the graphics you're creating well I hope you found this tutorial helpful thanks very much for watching